What's up Amazon sellers? Are you ready to smash your goals and finally make the massive progress that you are craving for in Q4? And this is the video for you. I'm going to share with you my plans for October and obviously November, December and the beginning of Q4. So hashtag excited. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know about me, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now doing online arbitrage for the last four years. And right now I'm a seven figure Amazon seller and also have two Amazon businesses, one in the UK doing seven figures and one in the USA, which has just broken five figures. So hopefully I'm gonna expand on that in the near future and share a lot more. But if you are interested in learning about how I did it, then do make sure you follow me and my journey by should say, hitting that subscribe button down below. And obviously you're gonna be notified to find the moment I share any of the top tips and tricks that I'm learning from my business with you in these videos. Enough about me, what are we gonna talk about today? Okay, so first things first, number one, I'm gonna talk about, do a recap of what my plans were for September, should we say just gone? And then number two, I'm gonna go through what my plans are for October 2021. And then finally, number three, I'm gonna share some top tips with you for goal setting during this October time. Hopefully that's gonna help you out in setting goals at the beginning of Q4. So let's jump into it right now. Number one, let's go through a quick recap of what my plans were for September. So if you say previously, I talked about hiring a new senior operations manager. So in the month of September, my senior operations manager, if you say undertook training with the VA Academy, and then also started training with my Amazon UK and USA businesses to fully understand the, if you say the Amazon businesses. Now he also attended meetings with, if you say my team and, and myself and, and handled quarterly meetings where you know, basically they do all like the fun activities, but also sharing performance of both Amazon USA and UK business and our plans moving forward, which, which we say I'll share with you later on. Number two is the fact that other than my senior operations manager, I also, also talked about she said, Q4 planning. This is like critical time for us. Now I mentioned that there are, she said, additional documentations that are required for things like toys and games, which are just hashtag annoying. Now there are, she said, certain brands who are not willing to provide the additional documentation unless you've officially partnered with them. So that has been a real problem. Now that being the case, what we've done is we've planned to review the best selling products and categories over last Q4, and not only that, we're also going to do some test purchases of toys and games because there are some suppliers, who, suppliers sorry, who are willing to work with us for the requirements needed by Amazon. So hence why we're doing some test purchases for them. Now, my senior manager is also going to take part in this planning process because that is one of his responsibilities in assisting me in managing the business, i.e. communicating with suppliers, building relationships and, you know, working with our partners, we say, who we're buying from. So aside from these plans, which I prepared for September, what we've also done is we've now increased our sourcing VAs from, I think it was five up to now six. And I think we'll probably maybe do one or two more. Um, and this is because we've got another goal this Q4, and that is to reach, we say, one million pounds in revenue over that Q4 period, which is like a massive goal. Now, basically, the six sourcing VAs, again, we might we are still proposing to potentially increase that. She said six have already started, and I think we've got two more we can actually put in. And we're gonna work with them to really drive part of that revenue, find deals, and, and try and hit that one million pound mark over Q4. Quick question for you guys. I've just dropped a bombshell, one million over Q4. Now that is huge. I was thinking I'd do one million over 18 months if you've been following my journey. But the question I really wanna understand is, have you thought about your Q4 plans, targets, and goals? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Just drop a yes or a no, and hey, if you wanna share what they actually are, fantastic, let me know. I'd love to hear what you are thinking about for this Q4 coming up. It's gonna be hashtag amazing. Right, that leads me nicely onto the second chapter, which is the bit you've been really waiting for, my plan for October 2021. Like what I mentioned earlier, we've got a new goal for this Q4, and that is to reach one million pounds of revenue in a three month period. That is gonna be massive, I know. One million, hashtag excited, but oh my God, hashtag 
big, big, big goals. Now, yes, we are able to hit 1 million pounds in sales so far for the year. So we've already done 1 million. Now, what I'm thinking with my team's performance and the opportunities that we have for Q4, along with, we say, projected revenues by the end of 2021, we'll hopefully be able to hit the 2 million pound mark by the end of this year, which is going to be incredible considering we only wanted to do a million when we first started. Basically, what are we doing? Well, we've divided our target as for October, and then we're aiming to reach, we say, 300,000 in October. We're aiming for another 300,000 in November, and we're going to do the remaining 400,000 in December. I know we're backloading a lot of that in December. We'll see how it goes. Now, to make this happen, we're planning to hire, in addition to, we've got six already, and I talked about it, so another two sourcing BAs that are going to be onboarded and that means we're going to go up to eight sourcing VAs in my Amazon business and this is because obviously as I said before we've already got six. Now other than sourcing VAs we've also planned to should we, see, should we say do a lot of reordering or, or proactive ordering of top performing categories and even ASINs from last Q4 and to check those ASINs which are really like you know the best performers and even over the past few months taking into consideration the potential if it's going to be even an better seller over Q4 or not. So something we're really thinking about there. In addition to all of that, since my senior operations manager is also responsible for communication with, should we say, suppliers, he is tasked to build relationships with them and to see what else we can do. It might be like discounts, bulk purchases, et cetera, et cetera. And that's going to be part of an ongoing process over you know, October because it's something we started in September. Also considering the added requirements that are needed right now for toys and games, which is like an absolute pain. My senior manager is going to be talking a lot to different retailers who allow, should we say, bulk purchases. For my final plans for Amazon UK, we're also doing some test sourcing and test purchasing on weekends as well. And you might ask why? Well, simply put, my team mentioned that there are many promotions and sales during the weekends that they're not able to take advantage of. So what we're going to do is we're going to be testing to see if we can get more deals and more spend during that weekend. So they're going to go off on a rotation system weekdays weekends for example and see how that works so I'll keep you updated on that one as well okay so that's it pretty much for my Amazon UK business let's proceed to talk about my Amazon USA business and again coming up for October 2021 now I talked about our target in the UK which is 1 million I know it's massive over in the Q4 now for my Amazon USA business we're going to be aiming to reach 50,000 in revenue by December 2021. Now, roughly right now, that's going to be, how does that break down? And that's for about one month, by the way. So we're looking for October 20K, we're looking for November about 20K, and then hopefully push that December up to 50K. Now, if you ask me, that's kind of how we're doing targets. I personally think that maybe actually November might be a lot higher and we'll probably do well, but we'll see. I'm always interested to see what's going to happen. And hey, it's a new marketplace, I still don't know. But with my team's consistent hard work and now that they're fully operational and obviously they've got me out of the business because I am the problem, then hopefully we can achieve that as well. So really excited. Now, I mentioned that my senior operations manager is also doing the communication with suppliers, but with newly hired VAs, he's also going to be assisted by, should we say, my admin VAs and to turn tasks over to her so to really support that in my Amazon USA business as well. So lots and lots going on. So one of the other things we're struggling with right now and we've been struggling with for a long time is cancelled orders within the USA. Now right now what's happened is my Amazon USA admin VA has just been managing that process but what's going to be doing is that my operations manager now is going to be speaking to those suppliers cancelling the orders understanding why, what's going on, and seeing what we can do about it. So not just email, but getting on the phone, having conversations, and that is gonna really, hopefully, help us resolve a lot of these cancellations. And hey, maybe even build relationships with those suppliers as well, so that we can get more inventory and maybe even better pricing. I know, excited. Now that's kind of like individual, but for both businesses, like moving forward, both the UK and USA, we are looking to implement a new bonus structure. Um, and this is an alignment, should we say, bringing into working that our Amazon business are working with the goals and bringing the value of Fast Track FBA. So what does it mean? It basically means that my Amazon business, the staff in there are going to be supporting the training development of the Fast Track FBA team so that we can deliver better leads, better VAs, just a better all-round service to our customers. So on the job, people who are actually doing it every single day, helping out the service side, Fast Track FBA getting better. So something really important about. Now that will include 
include things like analyzing deals, sourcing, you know, supporting the keeper training, tips and tricks that we're learning, and also market knowledge, what's going on. And that's not only the leads, but also the VA Academy. There's so much value that can be brought. And that's something we've implemented within the bonus structure to really support them. Now, my plans don't end there. And this is because of the continuous growth and success that we've been getting in both Amazon businesses. Also as well, moving into next year, we are also going to be looking at opening up Amazon Germany. I know, I say it now. So, so far in October, we're going to be going through, should we say, a planning process. And we're going to be trying to work out what that looks like for opening up Amazon Germany to do the online arbitrage business model there and see it. So we're going to be looking at working with how we do our VA, how that works, super interesting. But also as well, we're probably going to need a German speaking VA at some point. So we're going to have to, have to start looking for that now in advance. So looking at opening up Amazon Germany, what are we looking at doing? Well, a lot of things we're going to have to consider logistics, tax requirements, EU restrictions, but also opening up Amazon, and also how we're going to open up accounts, as in like business banking accounts, etc. And obviously how we create a limited company or a, a corporation there. That's going to be something super important. So a lot of research has got to go into that. And that's going to be really important. Why? Because that is about growing the business. So I'm talking now about all my staff, October 2021. Now there is a lot to get on and hopefully you're like actually wow you know i'm doing a lot we've got amazon uk we've got amazon usa and we're even now talking about amazon germany and why is this we've seen massive growth in the uk why because we've been able to buy a lot of stock get it sold turn the money make money and also invest that into other marketplaces we've been able to expand now if you are looking to maybe replicate that in the future you need the ability to be able to invest money turn it quickly get it back out again with the profit and what does that mean you need deals or leads so if you are getting started and maybe you're like me you struggle for time and you just don't have the time to find leads yourself and maybe now is not the right time to hire a va then do look at fast track fba leads to service i created and i think it's completely game changing what do we do we have a team of VAs who are sourcing in the USA and another team in the UK seven days a week. They put every single deal they find onto our web platform. You can come in, you can browse every single deal, look at everything, all the information about it. And when you find those deals that you like, which work for your business, all you need to then do is quite simply unlock the deal using the tokens that you buy with us. Obviously buy the product from the supplier, ship it to Amazon, sell it and make a profit. It's completely game changing. No one else does anything like this. Check it out. I will drop a link down below to Fast Track FBA Leads. Now that leads me nicely on to chapter number three, which is some top tips for you about goal setting if you are obviously going to be setting goals for your October 2021. Now, as you might know, one of the important goals is that is it helps to guide your focus and helps you to maintain, should you say, momentum in your life and also in your business. Now that's why, should you say, in managing your Amazon business, setting a goal is super, super important. You you can't score unless you've got a goal and you can't manage what you don't measure and you can't even improve on improve on something if, if you say if you don't properly manage it so having a goal gives you something very a clear direction so right now I'm just going to give you some top tips of goal setting that's hopefully going to help you out in your business now, so first things first number one start with setting goals that motivate you so when you set these goals for yourself it's important that they motivate you this means to make sure that they are important to you and that they add value and they bring something to you when you achieve them. So if you're having, should we say, little interest in the outcome or, or you're not really too bothered or it's irrelevant given the larger picture, then chances of you putting in the work to make the goal should they happen are super slim. So just make sure that the goals you are setting are ones that you're like, yeah, I want that. Like, I can't wait for that because that motivation is key to helping you achieve the goals. Now, remember that in order also to achieve goals, this requires commitment and to maximize the likelihood of success, you need to feel she said a sense of urgency she said that, um, is that i must do this that's, that's super important now it's that attitude that like, this has got to be done there is no choice it has to happen that's going to really help drive you so if you don't have this if you're risking your goals are not going to be happening they're not going to become a reality so in turn that leaves you just we say leaving disappointed and maybe frustrated with yourself now talking about goal setting this is one analogy that i use for all my goals and i absolutely love them one thing i 
I say is whenever you write a goal, make sure it follows the SMART analogy. S-M-A-R-T, S is for specific, M is for measurable, A is for attainable, or I say achievable, can you actually achieve it? R is for, is it relevant? Is it realistic you can actually do it? And then T, has it got a time definition? Is it defined time? You start with S, say for example, your goal's got to be you know, specific, your goal's got to be clear and well-defined. When you get there, can you say, yes, I've achieved it, or like, oh, I don't know, like just achieve growth. What does that mean? It's not clear, but drive one million pounds by the end of over the Q4 period in revenue, that's yes, I've achieved it, or no, I haven't, quite simple. That's gonna be something super important. It could even be something like adding the A's, like hire two more VAs by this date. M is for measurable, so it has measurable amounts. Think about like, you know, we talked about the one million pounds, or it might be like hire two VAs. Again, they have got specific measurables in there, which you can say, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that that's gonna really help you out. Now, A is for achievable or attainable. You gotta look at yourself like, is it realistic? Like, by the end of this year, I wanna to get to one billion in revenue. Is it realistic? Probably not, it's not really gonna happen. So make sure your goals are realistic and you know, achievable. That's gonna be super, super important for you because otherwise you're just gonna sit there and be like, well, I'm never gonna do it anyway. You've gotta be able to realistically believe you're gonna achieve these goals. Now, R is for relevant or again, kind of go back to like realistic. Again, this has gotta be like, they're going in the right direction to you. So are they helping your business grow? They're aligned with where you want to go in the long-term structure. So like it might be a one million pound now, and next year we're maybe looking for like, I don't know, maybe three million. I don't know. But is that aligned towards that goal? And then lastly, we've got T, which is for timed. Now, again, we talked about it, 1 million over Q4. That's got a specific time bound in it. That's super important. It might be a deadline. It might be a period of time you want to get it done by. That's going to be super important for you. So just make sure you're following that SMART analogy, S-M-A-R-T. That's going to really help you in ensuring that the goals you're actually setting are crystal clear. And if they're clear, you can actually achieve them. And at the end of the day, we want to be achieving our goals. So follow that, it's going to really help you. Now, what I will say is I've just talked about setting goals and even my goals for Q4 or she said October and the goal setting process and the way we go through it. And these are some things that we implement every single day or month into our Amazon business to help us become more successful. But maybe you're just starting out and you're thinking, how do I become successful? What do I need to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a link to a video around here about top tips on how to be successful doing Amazon FBA in 2021. Check that out. I think it's going to really help you. That's going to be a game changer for you. But what I will also say is hopefully you've liked this video and hey, maybe you've learned some things that you want to take away for your business. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. And hey, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That's just going to notify you when more videos get released about everything that I'm doing in my business to help you out. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.